Hi guys, I'm Zena. I'm from Hum Nutrition. And I'm Michael. I'm from Herbivore Botanicals. And Michael, what are we doing today? Well, we're gonna learn all about the ancient practice of guasa. <gasps> it's gonna be super exciting. Ooh, yeah. What the heck is guasa? That's a really reasonable question. Okay. Um, guasa is the practice of moving stagnant fluids and toxins that might get stuck in your face over time, and really just helping your body naturally metabolize them and eliminate them. It has huge, huge impacts across the board. It's great for lymphatic drainage, it's great for boosting circulation, working out muscle tension along your jawline, um, really, really good for depuffing and soothing. Um, so I'll show you how to do all of that. Okay, um, so how should you prep your skin before you even get in there with the tools? Absolutely. So with guasa specifically, it is critical that you are working with a lubricated surface. So you can really do this however works best for you or whatever you prefer. You can do it after your toner step if you like, mm -hmm. uh, but my preference is to do it after your facial oil step. Mm. So applying a nice facial oil will ensure that your tool will glide effortlessly across your skin, never pulling or tugging because guess what? Gravity's already doing that to our faces. We don't need to help. So you can do it then, or if you prefer, you could even do it after your moisturizer step. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. And um, so you have a few different gua sa tools with you. We sure do. What what are they? Let's well, see. it's so funny because I never say them. I never say the actual proper name for these because to me this is a heart, this is a kitty cat paw, and this is a puzzle piece. Um, <laughs> But when it comes to what the different shapes are and what they do, they're all gonna perform identically. The reality yeah. is, which one do you prefer? What are you intuitively drawn to? And what do you feel like is going to hug the contours of your skin the best? So let me ask you, what do you think is gonna hug the contours of your skin the best? Um, I'm drawn to this one that looks like a foot to me. I'd really yeah. like to rub this marble foot on my face. And what are these yeah. made of? Um, these are rose quartz, um, which Amazing. is really, really beautiful for so many different reasons, but it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous stone to incorporate into your meditative practices and mm. also into your skincare. Mm, okay, great. So for facial prep today, I brought our emerald facial oil. I'm mm. absolutely obsessed with this. Um, it has cannabis sativa seed oil, which is super rich Ooh. in gamma linoleic acid. Great, great, great as a moisturizer and also kind of helpful for balancing hormonal irregularities. Ooh. You have um, a beautiful trio of adaptogens. You have ashwagandha, shiitake, turmeric, and then you have a tree of hydrating oils. So it's like a breakfast smoothie. It's like everything you ever need. <laughs> yeah, okay, great. <laughs> uh, but you have barrage seed oil, meadow foam, and squalene, which is also fabulous for youth preservation. So this is my current favorite oil. So nice. Um, but I'm gonna actually just take in maybe three or four drops, and I'm gonna gently press them into your skin just to, again, create a nice, beautiful, lubricated surface. Now we always wanna just gently press as opposed to dragging because you don't wanna tug the skin. I've been feel? doing this all wrong at home, I can tell you right what now. What do you do at home? <laughs> I'm like rubbing it my skin <laughs> viciously. It's like, you better get in there. Yeah, this is very nice and gentle. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's the, a general rule of thumb with our skin. It wants to be interacted with tenderly and with love, so don't like go crazy, girl. Don't act like you're mad at it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> who hurts you? <laughs> okay, how does that feel? Great, yeah. So I'm gonna start from the base of your chin and work upward. You always wanna work upward because you're gonna be elevating and sculpting the face. So I'm gonna start right at the base of your chin. And forgive me, I'm gonna reach around like Go we're gonna have like yeah. a really yeah. romantic kiss. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna work along your jawline. Now I'm gonna pause anywhere I feel, ooh, girl, you've been clenching. Uh, I can feel <laughs> muscle tension. So anywhere you find those knots, you can really pause. And I don't know if you want to speak to this, Mrs. Zena. Um, as you do it, you'll feel a very bizarre, satisfying crunch. Yeah, like it feels like you're like finding little bumps that you're just kind of like... Yeah. Yeah, smoothing out. Well, and that's precisely what we're doing. Those knots are actually calcified toxins that are just stuck in your skin because your circulation has, for whatever oh. reason, stagnated. So we're going to just kind of reactivate the circulation to the area and break up those little pockets. Yeah, it's it's like a rolling pin on dough. Yeah, I'm exactly. Turn my face into silky pie dough. <laughs> Need that face, girl. Mm. Um, and you'll notice when I get to the very edge of your face, I'm gonna give the tool a very slight wiggle, and that's just to encourage all of those fluids and toxins to release and disperse so that your circulatory system can pick them up, metabolize them, and eliminate them. Now the other thing to pay attention to as I'm doing this is I'm holding this as closely as possible to a 45 degree angle from your skin. This is still a rock, everyone. So don't go jamming rocks into your face by holding it at a 45 degree angle, you really ensure that you're not jamming it directly into your skin, you're actually hovering it along the surface. Yeah, sense. how would you describe the amount of pressure that you're putting on? I would say firm, loving pressure. Um, the term guasa actually means scrape, and I think if you Google it, it freaks out a lot of people because you'll see it can create bruising and all of those things. You are not working with nearly the intensity that you would do to, on your body with your face. So you're just gonna keep a nice, firm, gentle, loving pressure. 
Got it. Now this is gonna be weird because I'm gonna do it from the center of your lips okay. to the edge of your face. Um, and the reason we do that is it's actually gonna boost circulation in your lips as well and gives you a nice little Kylie plump. Mm. So. And this is where you'll really start to map out your bone structure. Do you feel how I'm hugging right underneath your cheekbone? Mm -hmm. Your face will tell you very clearly what your guide point is. So I was originally starting up here, but I could feel that your cheekbone actually is right about there. So I'm going to hug your cheekbone up and press. And sometimes you'll even find little pockets of those toxins. They're a little more subtle than they are along your jaw, but you can really pause and help to encourage that kind of drainage. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do it a third time. So three appears to be the magic number I've selected for today. Um, one of the things I always tell people is you wanna pick one number and commit fully to it. Because you are creating increased circulation, because you are creating drainage, if you do it with different numbers on different parts of your face, you'll see an asymmetrical impact. So you'll feel more depuffed, you'll feel more of an arched brow. Um, right. Things will look a little bit off. So make sure you pick one number and commit to it fully for the entire process. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this um, into a slightly different shape. I'm actually gonna take this portion where there's this nice little nook and I'm gonna hug your actual cheekbone with it. Um, so that's just gonna, again, help break up anything that may exist and be stuck inside of your skin. How does that feel? Nice, yeah, it's like a more isolated or like concentrated mm -hmm. area that we're working with. And listen to your face, because it'll need different things on a day-to-day -day basis. So some days you may find, oh, wow, well, my cheekbones need a lot more TLC. And other days you'll find like, wow, my forehead is holding a lot of tension. But just let your, let your muscular system tell you where you should put your focus. And always with the wiggle. Slide and wiggle. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're gonna go into your under eye area. Um, so I'm gonna switch, switch the tool to this side here. I'm gonna work in very, very gentle, very delicate strokes in the under eye area. This one especially, you don't wanna tug, apply too much pressure, so keep it mellow. So I'm gonna come right underneath. I'm going to gently work my way out. Yeah, it's a much more gentle pressure under the eye. You need to do so, so little. Yeah. And then you'll notice I'm kind of draining it right at the temple. Yeah. The temple is a natural exit point for the face. So it's gonna take all of the fluids that we're moving out from underneath your under eye and putting it exactly at that, and placing it at the exit point of your face. Mm. Um, so I don't know, ever since I turned 30, I swear if I have one drink, y'all can tell I've been drinking. <laughs> and there is no eye cream, there is no treatment, there's no serum that will ever depuff my eyes. The only thing that will do it is physically moving the stagnant fluid with a guasa or with a roller. So this is incredible for that kind of puffiness. Mm. Good. Great, yeah. yeah. Um, so now I'm gonna go back to the kitty paw side mm -hmm. and I'm going to trace out the contour of your brow bone. Mm. Okay. So I'm gonna start right here, keeping it 45 degrees to the skin and just hug the brow bone. How does your face feel? It feels good, yeah. Like I definitely, I feel like there's just more circulation maybe on this side, mm -hmm. or that it feels like a little less stagnant and stiff than mm -hmm. this side. I always feel like a really lovely warming sensation when I do it. I feel like my face is just kind of flushing because yeah. that's what's yeah. happening. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. Um, so now I'm gonna work from your brow bone up to your hairline. So in this instance, I like to think of, think of your skin as a zen garden. Imagine it's completely made out of sand. And the objective is to move all of the sand to your hairline. Mm. So when you're doing that, you're not gonna move back and forth, back and forth, because then you're just muddling the sand everywhere. You're gonna move in concentrated strokes in one direction. Mm. So that's precisely what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna start here at the edge of your brow, hovering 45 degrees to the skin. And then I'm just gonna fan out across the entirety of your forehead and complete that same process.
center of the brow. And there we are, how does that feel? So nice. This, this whole process really reminds me of like when you take a really good yoga class and at the end in Shavasana the teacher comes around and like gives you a little br like rub across the brow and in your mm. temples and it just like has that same like mm. It's <laughs> oddly invigorating and therapeutic because you don't imagine, especially doing it to yourself, that it would feel so peaceful but it always is this gorgeous meditative act. Yeah. It's really nice. Mm. Well now to keep it symmetrical, let's do the other okay, side. Great. And when you do it in terms of order of operations, you can always choose if you want to do the entire chin on both mm -hmm. sides and then move on to the entire lip to temple area, you can break it up and zone out however you prefer, just as long as you do it symmetrically at the end. Right. Okay. So starting again. Mm -hmm. You feel Gorge. invigorated? I do feel invigorated. I yeah. feel like I just woke up for the day again. <laughs> yeah. Feels like a nice little restful interlude. Yes, totally. Michael, thank you so much for guasawing my face. It feels lovely. I feel reinvigorated. I feel ready to take on the day. I'm so glad you've got a lovely face to guasa, so the oh, pleasure was all mine. Thank you. Uh, if people want to check out their own guasaw tools or the emerald oil, where should they go? Head to herbivorebotanicals.com. We're a full lifestyle brand, so we've got something for everybody. So get your guasa, get your facial oils, get your life. You're going to love it. Yes. Thanks so much again for coming in. If you guys like what you see, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and stay tuned for more beauty videos from us. Harbing's a charming. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. <Okay. laughs>